Welcome back to Bridge 4 Games. I'm Tom, and today we are going to continue up the ladder with this team of Glastrier, Metagross, Tapu Fini, Urshifu, Dusclops, and Reggie Alecki. We saw we had uh, some, some pretty, you know, nice things in the last uh, episode that we had. We did, um, you know, drop one, I think, to a pair of song. Uh, but other than that, we were able to kind of show some of the lasting power and some of the versatility of this team. Uh, so we're going to pop right into it and we are going to get rolling. couple things to note. So the Glass Reader does have an Assault Vest on it. And with the Assault Vest, um, is able to take a lot of times like a, a, a fire type attack um, a lot better. Um, and we are able to like you know take it a, a, like a little better or we're able to um, survive things um, that otherwise we wouldn't be able to so really love that on the glass tree or the metagross we want to get the policy off um, Feeny, Urshifu are just really good versatile Pokemon. Dusclops and Regieleki are really good speed control. So immediately here I see Orangaroo and that can do some trick room stuff and also like some after you or instruct type things that can be super duper annoying. Uh, so I really think that we want to lead potentially with this Urshifu and the Regieleki. I think that gives us a good shot. I like Metagross here. The Arcanine is a little bit scary. And so we've got the Regieleki that can handle the Milo. Um, then really the question is, do we want to go horse for horse? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Horse for horse. So we have our glass tree here. They have their glass tree here. Well, we don't know if they brought it. But I imagine that would be a tech that we will see. Sorry if my camera fritzes out a couple times. I did just get a green screen and set it up. So I am still tweaking those settings just a little bit. So if I um, start to have a little fuzz or something like that. I will fix that uh, for future episodes, just kind of getting used to the settings that I have with it. So we see the Glastrier and the Orangaroo. Immediately, I am more afraid of the Orangaroo than I am of anything else going on. Um, so I'm just going to Wicked Blow into it, and I am also going to just a Bolt Switch. Is this going to be Glastrier immediately? It is going to be Glastrier immediately. I'm okay with that. I mean, Urshifu has the Sash. And we're going to get Reggie Alecki out of here. I don't know that I love the switch in, but I don't know that I love either switch in, honestly. We could potentially proc a policy if they don't go after the Urshifu. There's a Wicked Blow. Alright, Orangaroo goes down, which is really good. Because we do not want to... We didn't want to deal with the shenanigans, whether it's Trick Room, After You, all that crap that it can do. Uh, so that procs our policy. The problem is, is that now we're really weak. Like, if they bring into a, a Regia Lucky, I don't know that we have a leg to stand on here with that Metagross. Now, we have our own Glastrier in the back, and we also have... So there's Arcanine, not going to drop our speed.
Interesting. Arcanines are usually relatively fast. I think we're just gonna wicked blow into I think we're just gonna wicked blow into that. And stomping tantrum. And if we are allowed to get that move off, great. And if not, great. Uh, Urshifu gets the avoid. That's not fair. Uh, Urshifu will survive this turn, though. So that's good. I mean, the, avoiding that attack meaning means that, that it will survive the attack. So it's going to go plus one here. Eh, it would have survived. Eh, not if it had got hit by the heat wave. Alright, so their Glastrier is now wired for sound here. It's plus one. Let's just hit into the Arcanine. Let's not mess around with that and Do we? I feel like we just want to steal Spike. If this is a weakness policy on the last year, we could be in deep shit anyways. Potentially, this is... So this is their final turn of Dynamax too, so I feel like if, if our Glass Trier survives, we're in decent shape. There's the Wicked Blows. So we knock out the, the Arcanine. It doesn't get off anything like a quick attack or anything like that, which is good. Question is, do they want to let Urshifu continue to just punch shit? No. The answer is no, they don't. Um, so they take the plus one here, but then... So now they're plus two two and plus one defense so that's not great this are that their glass rear is is uh set up pretty nicely Ugh. it's not great not great at all we take a defense increase and we get our lucky in here There's our Regieleki, and there is their Milotic. Now their max is completed. We're gonna look at their boost. They're plus two, plus one, plus one. Milotic is nothing. I feel as though we just have to hit this Glastrier as absolutely as hard as we possibly can. It's going to unfortunately be a Knuckle. My Lotic protects, which is great. So now we're not taking double damage. A lucky two. Great. Their glass are high horsepower. That's a dead Alecky there. That's not great. But if we can knock this out and get to plus two, then we got a shot. Their glass reader does go down there, so now we are plus one from the attack. Their glass reader faints. Now we are plus two. You love to see that. So now we're plus two against a lonely Milotic. We can, and what are we? So we're just gonna check here. We are also plus one defense. Oh, I do not want to quit and give up. No. Um, 
I think we're just going to knuckle. We're going to go plus three. Might as well, right? They're going to just try and burn us. Oh, oh, oh they get the burn. Touche. So we're plus two. Now we're plus three. But we're burned. That's... That's what it is. I mean, that, that is why they run Scald, right? I mean, or that's why they Scald there. They didn't Scald me for the damage. Uh, problem is, we don't want to drop our... <laughs> with close combat, like, we don't want to drop our, like, defense too much here. Milo just protects... I don't know, he's kind of stalling out a little bit. Well, just, I mean, that. We're plus three still. Yeah, I mean, we're. We're just gonna high horsepower here. We we don't want to drop our our attacks or our defense stats. The scald's not doing a ton here. The burn sucks. But the reality is, without the burn, we were we were wrecked. Yeah, we wrecked them anyways. We just need to hit them twice more. They're just trying to take me down with the burn. It's an interesting stall tactic. Um, now they need like a crit or like three. Well, that's why we're and They actually need us to miss the high horsepower. If we miss the ho high horsepower, then they got a shot. 119 to 91. <laughs> Maybe not. There we go. So we knock them out, so we win. Um, GG's to our opponent. That was a good one. I feel like that, that could have gotten kind of scary if we would have missed a high horsepower and they would have been able to protect, drop us again with the, the burn. That was good. That was good clutch burn. That probably gave them hope um, on that. Good for them. Uh, we're going to continue on and look for our next battle. Um, almost under 10,000. We had some rough goes trying to find a decent uh, team that we really liked here. Um, but I do feel like I'm going to stick with this so some sort of variant of this team for a little bit. Um, all right, so here's an interesting one. So normally this is where I really love like an incineroar so they probably really are liking that feral thorn that is pretty scary for us uh, we don't want that thing to get set up on us or else we're gonna have an absolutely bad just a bad time so the lander is also checks the regialecki pretty well um, I actually think I'm going to lead Dusclops and Glastrier in this one with Metagross and I'm actually thinking Urshifu in the back. So Tapu Fini I don't love because it it's it's decent against Landorus I suppose but it the Ferrothorn absolutely destroys it. Um, my Lodic and Tapu Fini really don't do very well against each other. And then um, the Zapdos also has a good matchup against the Tapafini. So I feel as though that's kind of tough for us to, to bring that. I really don't like Regialucky with that Landorus there. I think that's kind of tough. Uh, but it is possible that we see that Zapdos even potentially in the lead. Um, but I really, like I said, I kind of think that Glashrier immediately with Dusclops throws down just a little bit more pressure. I mean, even if we get Intimidate right? Even if we get intimidated. Because they got to potentially think, they, they got to potentially think that we got a policy on that. So there's Landorus and Zapdos. We do get ourselves intimidated. So we drop our attack one. 
But I don't know. Does does that matter all that much? I mean, I still think we knock that Landorus into next week. And do they have something? So I know the Zapdos. The Zapdos potentially has like a fire type. More than potentially. That Zapdos has a fire type move. I will. I would bet a lot on them. I feel like the Landorus is probably more threatened down and or might want to get out of there and cycle Intimidates. I'm going to actually just fire off. Like, this might be a mistake. This might be a very big mistake. I feel like that is Zapdos. That is the downside to having the Assault Vest on the Ice Horse here, is that I couldn't protect. Like, if I was able to protect that turn, and then uh, get into Trick Room, and then from there try and pop off, I feel like that would probably be better. But we went right for it. They gotta be thinking that I'm out of control. Like, I'm, I'm absolutely nuts. And it's possible. I mean, the thing is, is if the Zapdos knocks us out, or if it double swings in, Landorus double swings in, um, and they knock out my Glastrier, um, and take out my Dynamax, this game could just be over right now. And I'm in Trick Room. Oh, man. Okay, so Glastrier takes a little bit of a hit. A little more than I wanted to take, in fact. Uh, but we knew that it was possible that Landorus got out of there. It was pretty fast, too, so is it possible that that was a, that was a Scarf? Maybe. There's the Airstream. Don't fully understand the airstream. I feel like that would have been an opportunity to like flare instead, and now you increased your speed. And uh, I'm gonna trick room. There's the hailstorm. Oh, you got some life orb chip too. Nice. So we just did a huge chunk out of that Zapdos. Yeah. So. Maybe they thought that I was going to switch out of that Ice Horse and into something different. I mean, that's possible, right? So they're probably like, there's no way that he's going to let like, Glastrier just sit there uh, and take that hit. Absolutely no way. And uh, we did. We knocked this thing out regardless of what we hit it with, right? No, let's not get fancy. Let's not get fancy. Maybe they take the Sableye back. Uh, Max Guard makes sense, too. I could have possibly just hit that Sableye. Oh, okay. I like that. I like the Encore. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then Hailstorm does jack shit. Um, takes a little more hail damage. Sableye takes hail damage. Dusclops takes hail damage. Um, let's see here. Um, you're not gonna encore me now. What are you gonna quash me? Quash doesn't really matter either. Oh, I can only use Trick Room. Yeah, that's fine. We can use Trick Room. I'm okay with that. You're gonna let it happen, let it happen. Bye bye me. Now you're gonna flare. We still took that without our assault vest. It would have been way better with the assault vest. We get a lagging tail, but that's not the worst thing. If that was an eject button, I would have probably broke my controller. Lagging tail, though, does seem to be the new craze, and it doesn't annoy me nearly as much as, as losing my Dynamax outright. Alright, so Zapdos is out. Landorus is in the back. Somewhere. And we're going to get a Trick Room back off. Cool. Cool. Do we just own the Encore? So what have we seen out of the Sableye? So we've seen Trick and we've seen Encore. Uh, 
really not all that worried about last year's. So we're in trick, in trick room. Oh, I can only use trick room. Let's see. Let's bring medic rooms in and then just icicle crash into the Landris. Quash, maybe? Maybe? He could possibly even make me slower. Uh. Wow. Foul play. Crap. Um, Ferrothorn's a problem. Ferrothorn's actually a really big problem. Oh, leftovers. Should see it right here. And maybe I need to get rid of it. So I got Sableye and then I got. We're in Trick Room. We are in Trick Room. And, oh, yeah, we know it has an Assault Vest. It has our goddamn Assault Vest. Um, we're just going to try and... Will-O-Wisp the Ferrothorn. Sure. That seems nice. We're going to Leech Seed us. We are going to Will-O-Wisp it. Burned. Fableye. That's fine. What are you doing? Ferrothorn gets buffeted by the hail. Cool. So Ferrothorn is burned, and that's really just to offset the uh, Leech Seed. We're just going to paint split with Ferrothorn, give ourselves just a little bit of so that's a nice thing about Dusclops. Dusclops has Nightshade, which is really nice, and Body Press doesn't actually hit us. So I wonder what they have that can. Okay, good night, Sableye. Dusclops, hail, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hail goes around the room. All right, so this is a little bit of a longer match. I really am, <laughs> I am just as curious as everybody else on if I'm gonna win this. Um, so Ferrothorn is a very big pain in the ass to deal with. Um, and we, it's getting a little bit more health back that I would prefer, but I really want to make sure, like we, have to knock out this Landorus. If we don't knock out this Landorus, we could potentially be in a world of shit. Um, mainly because... All right. We got one turn of Trick Room left. They're, they have Iron Defense, which is usually a Body Press set. And Body Press doesn't actually hit... Body Press doesn't actually hit Dust clops. I think we just burn the Landorus here. Now, I really might actually pull it back out as well. Yeah, so that's not great. You get a double leaf seed off. Now we have to deal with that. Oh, no, it avoided. So we have to deal with that Landorus. That might do really well to deal with that Landorus. Ah. Damn it. Metagross just went down. Um... Yeah, I don't love it. Who 
It would have been way better if we would have. It would have been way, way better if we would have um, knocked that out. Or if we would have hit that below this. I would have felt a million times better about that. I feel like we just need to. We need to guarantee knock out this Landorus. Landorus uses Earthquake, so Landorus is faster. That's cool. Wicked Blow. There's a crit. Tershifu. So it crits. There we go. So you're gonna body press. The question is, does this Ferrothorn have, so if it has Protect, Leech Seed, Iron Defense, and Body Press, it may not actually have a way here to hit this Dusclops. Oh, it Leech Seeded. Son of a bitch. We can Pain Split it. Right? Damn the lead seed. What a huge pain in the ass. Alright, so we lose this one. Um, man, we are losing these these real... I, I don't believe I, I missed that. I, I was thinking, like, it doesn't have a way to hit me. I really needed to switch that dust clops out instead of trying to burn. That is where this game went sideways. I was thinking that we had this game won, and as soon as we dealt with that... Um, as soon as we dealt with the... Landorus and we did not so we're gonna go down in this one um, That's gonna be it for this one. So uh, if you guys are enjoying this team or, or our content Please leave us a comment and or a like and a follow uh, Down below so for bridge Four games. I'm Tom and we'll talk soon. Bye